ready to dazzle your friends at your next party with these awesome food hacks. We've also got ways to save you time and make life easier in the kitchen. But first be sure to subscribe to the Crafty Hackers channel and hit that notification bell to be the first to see our new videos. Apple Slicer Potato Wedges Use an apple slicer to cut up a potato. Then put the pieces into a lightly oiled and seasoned baking dish. Bake in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. When they're done, you'll have a yummy snack. That was easy, right? Beautiful tomato flour. For this trick, you'll need a tomato and a cucumber. Slice the cucumber up the center, lengthwise, then slice it at an angle. Carefully slice the top of the piece several times in the opposite direction and fan out the pieces. Cut your tomato up in thin slices, leaving them slightly connected at the bottom. Fan them out and curl the slices around each other like this to make a flower. Place the cucumber leaves around the flower and you've got a decorative display for your serving table. Wow, so fancy! Style Bread Fix If you've got a loaf of bread that is dried out and hardened, you don't want to throw it away. Simply put it in a container and pour a cup of water over it. Brush the bread with water to make sure it is evenly covered. Once you have dampened the outside of the loaf, put it in a baking dish. Warm it up in the oven for a couple of minutes. Your bread will come out nice and soft and ready to enjoy. Here's a hack to easily separate your egg yolk from your egg white. All you need is an empty water bottle. Squeeze the water bottle a bit, then attach the opening to the yolk. Use the bottle as a section to pull the yolk out. Then squeeze the yolk out into a separate bowl. Banana hack. Here's a clever way to slice a banana without peeling it first. Just use a needle to make small holes along one slice of the banana peel. When you insert the needle, slide it side to side. Do this on the other side of the section too. Carefully pull that section of the peel away. Now you should have a peeled banana, all ready to eat in a convenient banana peel pouch. Lost the top to your jar? No problem. When you're ready to close up your jar, but can't seem to find the lid, here's a simple trick that will preserve your food for you until you're ready to use it again. Just blow up a balloon and put it on top of the jar. As the balloon deflates, push the latex over the opening of the jar. The latex will form to the jar as a lid, sealing it tight until you're ready for the next use. No more wasted food. Yogurt Pops. Here's a way to make a healthy snack that's cool and refreshing. Just put a popsicle stick through a slit in the top of your yogurt container. Freeze the yogurt for a couple of hours. Pull the lid off and slide out your frozen yogurt pop. Yum! Onion flour. Ever wonder how they make those awesome onion flowers at restaurants? We'll show you how to do it yourself. First, cut the end off of a purple onion, then slice along the outside about an inch or two between slices. Now drizzle it with olive oil and bake it until it fully opens up like a flour and the edges are a little bit crispy. Doesn't that look delicious? And you don't even have to go to a fancy restaurant to get it. Husk corn in seconds. First cut the stem off of the corn. Pull open the husk and roll the corn right out. This will allow you to easily remove all those little strings on the corn. That was quick, wasn't it? Melted ice cream cake. For this, you'll need self-rising flour and a small container of your favorite ice cream. Pour in about two cups of the flour and add your melted ice cream. Stir the mixture together. Grease a cake pan and pour the ice cream cake into the pan. Bake for about 45 minutes. When it's ready, sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. That looks so tasty. Peel ahead of garlic fast. Here's a time-saving hack every cook should know. All you have to do is separate the cloves from the head of the garlic. Place the cloves in a metal bowl. Cover it with another bowl and shake vigorously. The garlic will peel itself inside the bowls. This is a total pro tip. Peel a hard-boiled egg in seconds. Pour a bit of cold water into a container.
peel your eggs in the water. The water will help remove all those little bits of eggshell and make sure they come out smooth and ready to eat. Perfectly peeled! See the pomegranate in seconds. First, cut a pomegranate in half. Then hold it over the bowl and whack it with a spoon until the seeds drop out and into the bowl. That's all there is to it. Apple Swan. Let's get fancy with an apple. First, cut the apple in half at the stem. Pull it apart and slice a tiny sliver in one side. Pull that out, now slice a bigger piece around the first cut. Do this all the way through the side of the apple half. And then do the same for the other side. Now on the other half of the apple, cut a thin slice off the center. Carefully cut the swan neck out of the side of the slice, like this. Attach the neck to the apple slices you made earlier. Arrange the slices so that they fit inside, but are slightly offset towards the tail of the swan. Doesn't that look pretty? Vacuum seal food storage bags. If you want to make your food last longer in storage bags, try this hack. Fill the bags with the food you want to store. Push as much of the air out of the bag as possible. Then place a straw into the bag and seal the bag all the way over to the straw. Suck the air out of the bag. Pull the straw out and seal it tight. Now your food will stay fresh even longer. Safety Pin Cherry Pitter First remove the cherry stem, then insert the base of the safety pin into the center of the cherry. Push the pit out. Life really is a bowl of cherries. Notepad This notepad looks delicious, doesn't it? Here's how to make your own. You're going to need some marshmallows. Just dump the bag of marshmallows into a bowl. Add a few spoonfuls of powdered sugar. Warm the bowl over a pot on the stove to melt the mixture. Stir everything together and add some more powdered sugar to get the right consistency. You'll want it to be a little like dough. Next, you'll want to flatten out the dough mixture. Powder the surface and use a rolling pin or glass to roll it out. Now it's time to add some pages to the notebook. Place a few wafer cookies inside the dough and fold it over. Use a knife or X-Acto blade to cut the dough around the cookies. Then mark the spot where the binder of the notebook would be and move the cookies over so you can trim the other side. It's starting to come together now. Here's a secret tip to make everything gel together. Use a bit of condensed milk in between the cookies like this. Apply some milk on top of the cookies too before you fold the cover of your notebook over. Use edible gel to decorate the outside of the notebook. Add some details with your pencil eraser. And write the word notes on the cover. This will really fool your teacher and your friends. Hey cute notebook. Wow, that is so crazy. We know it's edible, but it still fakes us out too. Watercolor paint set. Want to turn these colorful paints into colorful treats? Check this out. First, clean all the paint out of the tray. Then place your favorite gummy candies in the circles. Now you're ready for the next step. Put a few pink gummies into a cup or use whatever color you like. Add a bit of lemon juice concentrate. Melt your mixture in the microwave. Give it a stir. Now spoon the mixture into one of your pink compartments and let it gel. Do this with as many colors as you like until it looks like you have a tray full of paints. When you're ready for a sweet snack in class, just peel one off of your edible paints and pop it into your mouth. Yum! Candy glue. Here's a trick to turn your glue stick into a candy dispenser. This will totally freak your friends out. First, grab a regular glue stick and remove the glue from inside. You're probably going to want to wash it out so you're not eating glue residue. Ew. Now grab a big handful of your favorite chewy candies. Open up a candy and flatten it out on a cutting board. Once it's flattened, push your glue stick onto it so it collects the candy. Push it down into the dispenser. Do this like 20 times to get enough candy into your glue stick. When you're done, you should be able to push the candy up, just like this. Looks like glue, doesn't it? But here's the coolest part. It actually works as glue. See? Sticky candy for the win. Your friend will totally think you're eating glue, but it's actually delicious candy. Tape gum. This tape dispenser is hiding something tasty inside it. Want to see how we did it? Take a regular scotch tape dispenser and remove the roll of tape. 
Now grab some bubble gum tape and get ready to transplant it into your scotch tape dispenser. You'll need to wrap it around the center just like this. Keep wrapping until the tape dispenser is full. Then pull it to the outside holder. Still looks like tape, doesn't it? There may be no gum allowed in class, but tape is allowed. Good one, right? Marshmallow Modeling Clay Our class is so much more fun with sugar. Here's how you can turn your modeling clay into marshmallow goodness. First, melt a bowl of marshmallows in the microwave. Stir the melted mixture together, then add some cornstarch. Massage the marshmallow dough together. You might want to wear some gloves for this part. Color your dough with food coloring. Color small pieces of the marshmallow mixture with a variety of colors so it looks like an assortment of modeling clays. When you're done, roll the marshmallow clay into these cylinder shapes so they fit in the container. Next, pull the real clay out of the package and cut your marshmallow pieces to size. Put the marshmallow pieces into the package. Be careful not to mix them up or you'll end up with a face full of clay. Now take a bite and enjoy. We hope you like these food and kitchen hacks. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you later.